Today I wanted to show you the single best use case I have found for custom GPTs so far. I'll be right back. I'm doing some research on a video about the assistance API. So what I do is I just go to ChatGPT. I click on explore here in the top right corner. I click on create a GPT, right? In this image, I just go to configure. I give my GPT a name. Assistance GPT, that's fine. Give it a description. A GPT with a knowledge base about the OpenAI assistance API. And then I just give it some simple instructions. You are an excellent teacher and software dev expert that helps the user understand topics in a conversational way. Okay, that's fine. And on capabilities, I just deselect Dolly and web browsing. And now we need to create our knowledge base, right? So I just go back to the Assistance API documentation. I copy all the things I can find about this Assistant API. I create a document here, so you can see. Download that as a PDF. I do the same. I get put down all the code examples I could find and put that into a PDF. Go back to my GPT and I upload both PDFs here. And that is basically all we have to do. Now I just click save, right? And let's test it. So I just go explain parallel function calling in the assistance API in simple terms. Okay, that seems to work, perfect. Uh, but this is kind of as expected. So what did I mean by the best use case for GPTs I have found so far? Let me show you. So I noticed that you actually can use the speech to speech function with your GPTs. So basically all you have to do is go to the ChatGPT app. In the top corner, select your custom GPT. Click on the headphone sign in the down corner there and just start talking. Can you explain the parallel function calling in the assistance API? Parallel function calling works similarly. You have different functions like the kitchen tasks and you can call them at the same time instead of one after the other. Instead of executing functions sequentially, one completes before the next starts, they are executed in parallel. This is particularly useful when each function operates independently and doesn't need to wait for the results of the others. So that is how I have been using custom GPTs for the last week. Uh, I really enjoyed it and if you want to learn something new, if you're out walking or if you're in a car or something, I think this is the perfect way to kind of learn new concepts. You can ask questions, you can follow up with more complex questions and yeah, you can kind of create your own knowledge base that you want to ask questions about. So yeah, I found this really helpful actually. So pretty excited about this. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for tuning in.